Hello guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to live stream privately in YouTube. Okay. First, we're going to open our YouTube and uh, you should log in with your in your YouTube using your Gmail account and then see you can see this icon. Okay, click this one and then click go live. Okay. Now, see here in your left side of your window stream this one stream you click this one okay and then at your bottom side of your window right side of your window events okay you click this events okay now just skip this pop-up window okay skip then okay here at your right side of your window, you can see here, new live event, okay? You click this one. Okay, now here, okay? So, here in the title, you can, you can put whatever the title you want. For now, we're going to put test live broadcast, okay? You can specify the date or in your future live stream, but for now, we're going to use it by today. So, you can even specify the time. So, now, we're going to make it, uh, let's say, 1.30 p.m. Okay? So, you can encode also the details and even the tags. Okay? It's up to you, whatever the tags you want that suits with your live streaming. Okay? Now, in your advanced settings, click this one, advanced settings. You can check the enable live chat if you want a live chat. And then here there's so many settings here. Just just read it one by one. And here, automatically start the event when you start sending data. Okay, this one we're going to discuss it later in uh, when we reach the encoders. Okay. So for now I'm going to check this one so that when we send the data from our encoder it will automatically start the streaming. Okay, now, next, go to your basic info. Okay, click this one. Okay, we already set this one in this uh, in the side. So, now, here. Okay, you can see this, this one. Just click this drop arrow. So, here, you can see the public unlisted and the private okay now since we're going to make live streaming in private so we're going to choose the private okay now here at the bottom there is a share share uh, button so click this one okay now here you can encode the gmail of your viewers of your attendees of your recipients okay for now we're going to have a sample one gmail for us to see if we receive our link of the live streaming okay at oops wait, at gmail dot com okay this one it should be gmail not yahoo not hotmail or not any other mail only gmail because they can open the link of your live streaming in the youtube and only gmail that will be used to log in in youtube that is why yahoo and any other mail is not valid for this one okay only gmail okay got it okay now next here see this is very important you should not forget to check this notify via email because if you uncheck this one they cannot receive your link okay you should check this one so that this gmail will receive your link of your uh, private live streaming okay now press okay okay and now share click share okay Let's wait for it. Uh, there will be a pop-up window. Okay, now here, see. At the 
bottom side of the window, there is single use stream key and reusable stream key. If you live stream every day or every other day, it's up to you. Just use this reusable stream key if you want. Or else, just use single use stream key. For now, I'm going to use single use stream key. Okay, just check this one. Okay, now, YouTube will provide the stream key. Uh, but first, here, you can use your Wirecast or Flash Media Live Encoders or other encoders. Other encoders includes vMix and OBS and or uh, any encoders you prefer. But for now, I'm going to use vMix because my OBS, I use it to record this tutorial. Okay, now, click this, other encoders. Okay. Now, here. This one, stream key, this is very important, okay? So you copy this one, stream key, you copy it, okay? And then we will go to our vMix, okay? I prefer vMix, okay? Now, see here, stream. In the stream settings, you click this one, okay? And then sh you should choose YouTube Live, okay? YouTube Live. And then you paste here the one, uh, the stream name, you copied it from the YouTube, you paste it here. Okay, uh, by the way, vMix and OBS is just the same. There you go, they are using stream name, same as the vMix also, stream name or stream key. The process is almost the same. So, with the vMix and the OBS, okay. So now, save and close, okay. Now. You click this one, stream. We are now sending data from our vMix to the YouTube. So I'll just make it fade. Okay, so this is now the video that sent to our YouTube. Okay, let's go back to our YouTube again. Okay, now go up and then you click this one, live control room. Okay, click this one. Okay. Ah, it is bad. Okay. It is just normal because there is a delay from our encoders, which is vMix, to the here in our YouTube. There is a delay, so that is why the YouTube still not yet receiving the data from our encoders. So that's why it is bad stream. But later it will be it will become good. Okay, let's let's just wait. Okay. Now the the public view Okay, now we receive now the video from our encoders, which is the vMix. So let's see if how much delay. Uh, let's go. Okay, now in this video shown, there's horses. Now let's go to our YouTube. Okay, see, I don't know how much delay. Okay, now the horses is shown. Okay. Oh, see? See, the horses. It's... I think 30 seconds delay or 20 seconds, but sometimes it's even one minute delay. So it's just okay as long as we successfully broadcasted privately our live stream in YouTube. Now, let's go to, ah, now it's already good because we received already the video from our encoder. So it's now good before it is bad because we did not yet receive the the video from our encoder. So let's go back to our info settings. Okay. And then see, in the private, if we click this one, so we send the link in this Gmail. Now, we will go to other computer to see if this Gmail receives our link in our uh, private live streaming. Okay, let's go to other computer. Let's go. Okay, let's put it back first to the, okay, let's play again. Okay, now, let's see to, the, to our other computer, let's see if we receive this live streaming. Okay, let's go. Okay, now guys, we are now here in my other computer and uh, let's see if we receive that link from our Gmail. Okay, let's open the Gmail. Okay, this this is the one I already log in it. 
So click the the Gmail. Click this one. Okay. Okay, guys. Now this one is very important. Okay, we receive the link in the inbox and social. Social. Click the social. Not in the primary. It should be in the social inbox and social. Okay. So this one, see. Uh, the Pinoy we sent you a video, the test live broadcast. See, this is the one we received the link. Okay, now you click this one. You see this red icon. I'll oh, click this one, and you will open the live streaming. Okay, this is it. So we successfully uh, live stream privately via YouTube. Now let's check if it is really a private or not. So, we're going to copy this link. Okay, copy. And we paste it in the WordPad for us to check if it is really a private or not. Now, okay. So, this is now the link of, of our uh, private live streaming. So, we log out from our Gmail. Okay, log out. Sign out. Okay, we already signed it out. And here, if we refresh this one, so see, it's really, we signed out already. <coughs> so now, you open the WordPad, you copy this one, see, you copy the link of your private live streaming, and then we paste it here, okay, paste it here, okay, and then enter. Oh, see, see, so it is really a private video. So anyone, any user, any viewers that their Gmail is not encoded in the settings of your live stream, so they cannot view your video because it is a private, see? So we're going to sign it again. Sign it again. Fade uh, Explorer and put the password. Enter. Oh, see? So, because we already signed it again, see, as you can see this uh, icon, so that means we can view now the live, live streaming in private. So, if we are going to open another window, and then you copy this one, this link, the one we copied it before, copy, and, and we paste it here, paste, and then enter, so we can view it. Because we already log in with our Gmail. So if, again, if we log out this one again, sign out. Okay, we already sign out. And this one, if we refresh it. Oh, see? It's a private video. So we cannot view it because we sign out from our YouTube account. Okay? Okay, see? Sign out. So if we're going to copy this one copy and then we paste it here again enter see it is a private video okay again if we are going to to sign in again with in our youtube account fade explorer see the gmail raquel armaglangit at gmail.com encode the password Enter. Okay. Now, we sign in again, and then we open this link. We copy this link, and we paste it here. Paste, and then enter. Oh, see, we, we view again the video, as you can see, because we sign in with our Gmail. So, guys, we successfully... Live stream privately in YouTube. It's really private. Because if your Gmail is not encoded in the live streaming setup, so you cannot view the, the streaming. So now, hope this uh, tutorial helps you in your needs of your live streaming in uh, private. So please like and share and subscribe. Thank you very much.